Trailblazer Award this evening. That's right, the Trailblazer Award recognizes an LGBT person who has made a significant contribution in advancing workplace equality by helping improve their own workplace or contributing to equality nationally. The Trailblazer winner also gets to go to the very prestigious UCLA LGBT Leadership Institute, which I personally did myself and it is outstanding. This is also donated by the UCLA Anderson School of Management. So, the finalists for the Trailblazer Award are Keith Ford from Pratt & Whitney United Technologies Corporation, Lance Friedman from Lockheed Martin, Anthony Imgrun from Draft FBC, FCB, sorry, <laughs> and Claudia Woody from IBM. And the winner is Claudia Woody. Thank you. Um, I'm real honored to receive this award from Out and Equal. And LGBT diversity is sort of my night job at IBM, like it is for most of you in the room. But I'm really fortunate to be enabled to do that job by IBM's powerful brand and its culture of inclusion and the values that our founders set for us. We had equal pay for equal work for women before it was cool or required by law. We had civil rights and inclusion of the individual long before that was required by law as well. And as we celebrate our IBM centennial, and yeah, we've managed to be around that long, and we celebrate the announcement of our first woman CEO. Yeah. Better yet, she has a lesbian sister. You know, our corporate values have been translated into a platform that I'm very privileged to be able to stand on and be a change agent. So I'd like to ask the IBM members to stand and be recognized because without you, I wouldn't be up here. So please, IBM members here. Yeah, thank you. But what I've learned along the way, and what I'd like to share with you tonight, is that each one of us has the responsibility of being a surrogate. We've talked a lot about straight allies, but we, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered people, need to be surrogates for our brothers and sisters throughout the world who don't have the opportunity to be here or the safety to be out in their workplace. This was never more evident to me than when we did Europe Pride in Warsaw, Poland in, in 2010. We did the business forum, and like all good corporations, I got a security briefing, and they said, don't, don't march in the parade, don't wear your IBM t-shirt, but oh, by the way, it's your choice. So, well, I really had to think twice before I and, and some of other very brave people who happened to be in the room tonight marched in the parade. Yeah. But there we marched to help our closeted brothers and sisters in Poland who were too afraid to be there. And people from Europe, had amazing courage to stand in and give a voice to their brothers and sisters who had no voice. And, and the police had to be
be there. They, we had protesters, we had people throwing eggs at us and, and stopping the start of the parade. But the police then marched beside us, 2,000 strong. There were 8,000 of us, 2,000 police. And by the end of the parade, there was this grudging respect that you could see in their eyes. Because at first, when we thanked them, they said, oh, it's my duty. But by the end of the parade, you saw a recognition of our shared humanity and maybe a little bit of understanding of that brave solidarity that went back to their trade union history. So, you know, I ask you today to become that surrogate. Because when I went back to that hotel, I was hot, I was sweaty, but I was safe. But my perspective changed a lot. I was no longer the privileged Westerner who took my safety in advocating for civil rights for granted. And it really made me understand how important it was for each of us to be people of courage and to understand also how much work we still have to do in the world. Each of us as individuals make our paths as we walk them and where we choose to walk them makes a difference. So tonight, my hope for each of us is that we'll risk more than others think is safe, that we'll care more than others think is wise, that we'll dream more than others think is practical, that we'll expect more than others think is possible, and that we'll remember what Eleanor Roosevelt told us, it's not fair to ask of others what you're not willing to do yourself. Thank you.